What's up, guys? How you guys doing today? Listen, I know exactly what you're thinking. This guy looks like the third stepbrother. <laughs> Good news, I just got cast in Elf 2. I'm playing Buddy the Elf's son, Bud Light. Apparently his favorite color is a rainbow or something, I don't know. You know, I'm still pretty new to stand-up. When I first started doing comedy, I Googled, you know, how to do stand-up. Tells you premise, setup, punchline. You ever Google how not to do stand-up? Yeah, just a bunch of videos of the guy that played Kramer. <laughs> I turned 25 recently. Yeah. Yeah. Big 2-5, otherwise known as officially too old to date Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> I feel him though, you know? I mean, dating is tough as you get older. I'm on all the dating apps, every single one possible. It's pathetic, right? Tinder, Hinge, Bumble, freaking... Christian mingle, Mormon match, Hindu hookups, I'll be any religion you want. Basically. Dude, it's bad, man. I'm even on farmersonly.com. The only thing I know about farming is there was one that had a dog. What was his name again? What was the dog's name? Oh, are you guys on Farmers Only too? <laughs> But no, man, I'm talking to girls on there, like, message them, they're like, Hey, little lady, I got a corn on the cow for you right here, ready to be shook. <laughs> yeah, don't say that, you get banned from the website. <laughs> It'll give you your money back. Now I'll never find a little lady to plow. <laughs> it's bad, man, I've even started flirting with telemarketers. We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Like, damn, why are you talking to me like that? <laughs> you can extend my warranty anytime you want. <laughs> yeah, I'm on their do not call list. It's not all bad though. You know, I went on a date with a girl recently and I thought it was going pretty well. So at the end of the night, I go in for the kiss and she just kind of leaves me leaning. Like Michael Jackson and Smooth Criminal. Hey, can you kiss me? Can you kiss me? Hee <laughs> hee! Yeah, then she told me to beat it. <laughs> I said, baby, the way this was going, I was already planning on it. <laughs> I came up with a really good pickup line, though. You guys want to hear it? Yeah. yeah. All right, Miss right here, what's your name? Becca. Becca, do you think there are too many letters in the alphabet? Yes, well, I'd agree, because I'd love to take you out. Yeah, apparently I should also remove the letters N and O, because that seems to be the major response I've been getting. Oh, man, dating is tough. You know, in college, it was a little bit easier for me, because I did theater in college. And the cool thing about being a straight guy that does musicals, kind of the only option. Not a ton of competition in that department. You know, a theater group is kind of like a, like a basketball team that only uses point guards. A lot of great ball handlers. <laughs> you know, dating after college especially is tough, you know, if you still live with your parents, right? You can't really bring a girl back to your childhood bedroom. I mean, hey, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Nothing turns a girl on like jungle print wallpaper in a bed shaped like a race car. Yeah, when I said I had a Ferrari on Tinder, that's what I was referring to. <laughs> what about social media? Doesn't social media suck? Doesn't Facebook suck? Remember when Facebook was fun? Like you could poke people? Dude, I poked someone last week. Three days later, I got a restraining order in the mail. <laughs> Not cool, Mom. Although maybe that's just her way of getting me to move out. I don't know. Twitter sucks too, right? Anyone, anyone on Twitter? I got a couple people. Right after Elon bought it, didn't kind of go downhill? Like he wants us to pay for Twitter? I'm like, dude, I won't even pay $8 for an OnlyFans. I just feel like if you make them pay, they're not gonna stay. Then Twitter will be only Elon. We <laughs> reword that joke. <laughs> but I do it because I lead into this song, right? Like Elon Musk, like he kind of wants to just be like one of us, right? You know, like part of our world, like Ariel. So I leave you with this, it's a song I wrote, I call it, The Little Musk Maid. Oh, that's... <laughs>
Here it is. Gotta get my note. Yeah, big theater guy. <laughs> look at my stocks, look at my tweets. Wouldn't you think my investments are peak? Wouldn't you think I'm the billionaire who has everything? I've got Tesla and SpaceX aplenty. I've got Twitter and AI galore. You want children? I've got 20. <laughs> but who cares? No big deal. I want more. Down where they work, I'll fire a ton. Making minimum wage all while I'm number one. Richest man in the world. No more Twitter for free. It's an $8 fee. When I own the world, thank you, my name's Joshua Dollar.